do the Yankees keep the pedal to the metal in order to get home field advantage, or do they set everything up? Is home field advantage that important? I, I believe it is, and the reason I think that the Yankees will, will put the pedal to the metal is that they need to figure out who their 25 guys are. I mean, the Astros, yeah, you, you talked, I heard you talking about their bullpen. Yeah, there's some injuries in their bullpen, but you pretty much know who their starting staff is. They have a really solid one through four, and solid's probably an understatement. You know who their starting pitchers are. You know who's closing the game out. You know who their one through nine batting order, if they're healthy, is going to be. So the Astros, there's not a lot of question marks. If I'm the Yankees right now, I take this last month of the season, and I have to figure out who are my horses going into October? Who are my four starting pitchers? And who's going to play every day at first base? Who's going to play every day at third base? Who's my starting outfield? There's a ton of questions right now. So if I'm the Yanks, I go into this last month saying the best guys are playing. Prove to me that you belong to start a playoff game, and, and you'll, you'll earn that right. A couple of weeks ago, we had Brian Cashman on. And he's, he told me that he believes that Severino will be back in time and will have an impact in the postseason. Do you think that impact would automatically be a starter? And if so, where do you then slot Severino with what they have? So I think the impact will be whatever his health allows him. Uh, the, the Yankees are, are smart enough to know that they're not going to push him. And in game two of the ALDS, they're not going to blow out Luis Severino, so you lose him for the rest of the postseason. Um, I think the first round matchup will be very important. If the Yankees get home field advantage and happen to have to play Cleveland in the first round, I don't really like that matchup. I'd rather see the Yankees, if I'm a fan, I'd rather see the Yankees almost be the second seed and play Minnesota. In, in that first round, because I just think the Yankees match up very well against the Twins, and I think they'll win that series handily. But, uh, you know, the Yankees have, have, have a lot of question marks of who exactly is going to get those innings. And if Luis Severino is healthy, he's going to get every opportunity to be a guy. And whether that's a two-inning guy or a four-inning guy or a six-inning guy, that'll be seen. But he's going to get those opportunities because we know what his upside is. A lot of people are talking about Jordan Montgomery, uh, the possibility of him coming back. And, Mark, I've got to be honest, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Jordan's, but I don't see how he fits into October. I don't like it. I, I really don't. And, again, I'm a fan as well, but I think you need to, he needs to be in your 2020 plans. I've been talking to a lot of people about this in the last week. The Yankees have shown if they just get average starting pitching, they're the best team in baseball. I don't think that's a bold statement. The reason I say that is that when they get average starting pitching, their offense is going to score plenty of runs, and their bullpen is going to close it down. So you can't throw out a Jordan Montgomery-type pitcher and, and have the chance of him getting shelled for a couple innings and give up seven or eight runs, and now you can't come back. And, and I think that the entire Yankee staff is, guys, you don't have to be perfect. We don't need you to go seven innings. We need four or five solid innings, keep, keep the score, three or four runs in, in those five innings, and, and we have a great chance to win these ballgames.